All right, let's continue. Spaghetti says the UK is a hellhole. Obviously, that is your personal opinion. If you'd like to elaborate on that, I'd like to hear why you feel that way. Um, I don't know why you would feel that way, unless there's a particular reason. Moving further down. Oh, there's a camp down here, but look out for booby traps. There's been a million of them so far. There's another one. Okay. A teddy bear? Oh, there's a mine behind it. Look at this. There was a freaking mine behind a teddy bear. That's dirty, man. What a dick. I always feel safe when I see a teddy bear. I don't want my face to get blown off. Look at this. Rigged shotguns up the butt. What is going on in here? White horse nettle? Oh, Fruto7, I'm sorry, dude. He said he was the last super chatter. I will update that. I'm sorry, Fruto7. There you go. Now you're up there. I'm, I apologize. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to the Back for Blood beta, yes. Uh, I just want it to play like like Left 4 Dead. Seriously, if the game was a fucking clone of Left 4 Dead, I would love it at this point. With modernized graphics. <laughs> ah, Spaghetti says, The UK's full of fake gamers. No one even plays Skyrim anymore, bro. Yeah. The worst possible outcome. What? A compliance regulator? Is that a new rare weapon? I've never heard of that before. Critical strike paralysis for 10 seconds. So if you hit someone with a critical hit, they get paralyzed for 10 seconds. That's interesting. Oh, Father. Guide and protect us, your Whoa. Yes, take it all. That's two of six. to resist those who would steal Zion from us. What the fuck is she doing? No. Okay. I don't want fishing batteries. Is there anything I could do with the workbench? Oh, I can do all these recyclings, right? Wow, excuse me. I'm so sorry, guys. That was freaking nasty. Okay. Polish Sausage just did a super chat. He says, can't wait for the medium stream. And Mr. Maw, Mr. Maw's coming back tonight. I, I mean, I think he will. Thank you, Polish Sausage, for the super chat. I appreciate that. Okay. Reloading bench as well. This guy has all kinds of benches here. Lead and pistol powder. I'll pass. Alright, let's see what's in the terminal. You're 2077. Five days on foot. I still can't sleep. Outside, it's like nothing happened. Sky looks wrong. That's all. Hike back to the overturned Nat Guard truck near Tokerville after blisters heal, maybe. Looks like USGS was researching something here in a cave. Cleared out the, where the, when the bombs fell, left equipment behind. Probably thought they had families to run back to. October 29th. Char? I must have said this out loud a thousand times walking here. Maybe writing it will feel more like you've heard. You were right. I was north of Spanish Fork, took the 77 along Provo Bay to steer clear of town. Would have been home in an hour. Engine died. Truck just stopped. So did a Chrysalis in another lane. Probably supposed to be Chrysler. New right away. First new kit SLC inside a minute. I was looking south. Lucky man. Flash behind me so bright the world looked on fire. Old couple from Chrysalis starts screaming they can't see. Because they probably were looking straight at the nuke when it blew up. Didn't watch you die, Char. Saved my eyes. Counted 12 more flashes next to 7 minutes. Damn, there were that many nukes. Ground trick each time 18 seconds later. When nothing hit for half an hour, took a look. Globe of fire where you and Alex died. Didn't kid myself. Didn't know what to do. Grabbed my pack and rifle. Saw the old couple. Sat them against the car. Let them hold and comfort each other. Told them I was going to get help. Everything will be okay. One bullet through each head instantly. Wow. Five-day hike back to Zion. You told me. Stop running off to the wild. Man belongs with his family. You were right. You were right. You were right. You were right. Wasn't 
there to hold you and my boy. Died without me. Never touch you or him again. Should shoot myself what I deserve. Can't. Maybe soon. October 31st. Black rain falling outside. Geiger jumping. Should let it kill me, but bottling water from back of cave all the same. November 2nd. Sounds dead outside, but I can't look. The Geiger goes lethal. 15 feet from the cave's mouth. Do the math. Radiation goes down before water runs out or I never leave this cave. Jeez. Happy New Year. Two months in the cave, still lethal outside, don't get it. In an army, they said two to four weeks, cleared fallout. Less than a month's water left. Been mobbing condensation off the cave walls, wringing shirt into bottles. Trading calories for H2O. Food stocks holding. Thanks, USGS. If there's even a chance I see the two of you again, I'd run outside. January 10th, sounded like one windstorm out there for two days. Radiation down 500. What's happened? January 15th, took a peak. Snow, it glows green. January 28th, radiation low enough I could risk short exposure. More important... Cave stream now drinkable if I use rad drugs. January 30th, there's nothing alive out there. Jeez. That was, the, so this was the first cave of the father. He's describing when the bombs dropped and everything changed for the first time. So that's the very first one. I already found one of the, the later ones, but apparently there's four more somewhere. I don't know how I could find them. How do I get out of here? Wait a minute. This is all dead end. Well, this isn't good. Oh, here we go. Never mind. All right, I was getting confused. He ordered the white lakes to salt the earth so nothing could grow again. What kind of monster could do that? A grade A asshole. That's who. Okay. Next cave is west of Rockville Bridge. Okay. Let's find the Rockville Bridge. Oh. Uh, I don't think I have Rockville Bridge. I don't even have it. Can you give me a location that I have on my map that I could use? Because I don't have Rockville Bridge. No, I've never hitchhiked. No. Whew. Ugh. Thank you, D-Man Gaming. Okay. <laughs> Stone Bones Cave near the Sorrows Camp. Oh, here it is. Stone Bones Cave. I found that one. We can go in that one. All right. Stone Bones it is. Now, will there be 100 booby traps in this one? There's already a bunch of dead bodies. Jeez. Oh, no. Oh! Ah! I gotta waste more stim packs. Oh my god. I'm wasting so many stim packs on this DLC. <clears throat> What's bullshit about that is this is that I activated the tripwire when I wasn't even near it. A pop. Oh man. This is 
gotta be the cave. Well, I hope there's no more booby traps. White leg attacks grow more frequent each day. I fear for our people and for our valley. Seems safe now. Grab the cases to make ammo. Whoa. Whoa, that's a lot of crap right there. A lot of explosives. What else do we got in this room? There's the terminal. Oh, I can sleep on the bedroll and get my health back. Sweet. Always like free healing. No, I never ordered any figures from Japan back in the day. Everything that I got was, uh, you know, straight from American companies and stuff. Oh my god, this is a ridiculous amount of shit. Alright, that's three of six. The Desert Ranger combat armor? Is it any good? Let's take a look at it. <clears throat> it's very good. Nice. Desert Ranger combat armor. This is kind of what I put on Boonal. I think this is a rarer version. I like it. Cool. Desert Ranger helmet. And eh, it looks nice. Is this is essentially the armor of the cover of the game? The guy in the cover of the game holding the gun. He has the helmet and the coat. That's what this is, but uh, actually this is going to give me health regeneration and extra endurance, so I'll probably keep that on. Whoa, 2096. February 11th, fuckers killed all the men. I think they would have taken the women alive, but Maria and Selena opened fire, and some of the others went for their guns, so they shot them down, some of the kids with them, if I could have warned them. February 12th, Elena and Carmen and five children still alive being kept in a pen. There are more than 100 of these assholes in blue suits. Every suit says 22 on the back. Aha! Why armed the teeth with some machine guns, pistols? Estimate is 60% male. Everyone seems to follow the dark-haired guy, but can't get close enough to tell. Assholes are disciplined, but trolls and sentries, they mean business. See, I go in at, oh, I go in at night and get the women and children out. Where to next? I have to get them out. Have to. February 13th, recon during night. Well-organized sentries along most approaches, but stream not covered. Are they sick? Lots of coughing fits. Tuberculosis? Women and children still in pen? We'll try to infiltrate by stream tomorrow night. <laughs> February 14th, they ate them. February 19th, ambush alongside Riverside Trail. Six males killed. Heard their calling a mile away. Used their grenades to booby trap the bodies. Kept half. Secured six SMGs, 500 rounds, and frags. February 20th, ambush alongside Riverside Trail. Two males died checking bodies. Killed two more with rifle. Shot one through cap and let asshole crawl off to spread message. Coughed like I'd shot him through the lungs. February 23rd, ambush half a mile east of Coal Pits Wash. Eight males killed. So, what it sounds like to me is these Vault 22 people who were sick with the spores from, from the, the, the growth, you know, the plant growth in their vault, came to, to Zion and were basically being dicks. And they, like it says, it sounds like he, they kidnapped this guy's uh, people, whoever he was with, and kept them prisoners. And then they ate them. They fucking ate them, apparently. So he systematically kept hunting them and murdering them one by one, which is actually coincides with the log we found at the Vault 22 camp, where they said some crazy guy was killing them, picking them off one by one. This was the father, apparently. Okay. So. February 28th. Ambush in the narrow. Six males kill. Took a 10 millimeter through the thigh. Steel jacket. Missed femoral. Lucky. Use a tourniquet to make sure no blood splattered on the rocks behind the cave, or back to the cave. Have set traps all along the entrance passage, but if they find me, it will be a matter of time. Still, 24 confirmed kills in 10 days is at least a third of their combat force. Not bad for an old man. March 2nd. Lucky, 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 lucky. Patrol with small three men. Screaming woke me. Point man caught under deadfall. Panic fire ricocheted into the cave. Almost hit me. Crawled forward and killed them all with SMGs. Nearly used frags, stupid. Fingered in pen when remembered ricochets. Leaving at once, no other patrols in the area, but they'll be searching narrows for these three. 
taking as much food as I can to drag with me and heading to the cave south. Okay. <clears throat> so. What would the next cave be? Half mouse? White bird? I don't know. Anyone know what the next cave would be? I think I found three of six now. I found the armor, which is good. Quaver Garage, which is south-southwest of the Caterpillar Mound. Quiver Garage. There it is. Oh, we have to go outside. Silly me. We have to go outside. Let's go outside to fast travel. Very nice. Oh, shit. room is there there doesn't appear to be it seems like a room where it, you know maybe he used to bathe or something but there's nothing in particular of interest in here okay <clears throat> my Swedish fans have arrived well, welcome to the Swedish I always welcome the Swedish okay I'm gonna go back the other way Yes, I'm here. What are you talking about? Someone's like, Earth to fill. I'm here. I'm responding to everyone. What are you talking about? Okay. Yes, DSP, play by me, and I can see your message. What are you talking about? You guys are acting very peculiar. I think you may be high. Seriously, you guys, uh... You may have had a few too many Swedish fish. You might want to calm down. This way? Just this way, straight ahead. Yep. Should be coming up on the right. <clears throat> Big old bean admitted that he's high. Well, it makes sense now. So what, did all the Swedish fans get drunk together? Or, excuse me, get high together? What the... Where did she come from? Where did he come from? Dead Horse Warrior. Crawl through the river. <laughs> He's creeping and peeping. Plants in the valley. Plants that seem to hunger for human flesh. Where they come from, I do not know. Here it is. Quiva Garage. Quiva Garage is the place to be. <laughs> Quiva Garage. Well, you know there's going to be more booby traps in here, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Jack White has tipped me $10. And I'll give you $1 for every innocent civilian you kill in this stream. That's horrible, Jack White. Why would you even say something like that? You know I would never kill the innocent in Fallout. Come on. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not that kind of gamer. It's disgusting. I'm not that kind of gamer. I don't just drive up and down the streets and fall out taking people out for bonus points, all right? I would never do that. I wouldn't be able to live it myself. Uh-oh. Enemies? Okay. Oh! Yo, he scared me! There's spore carriers in this cave. Yo, he scared the shit out of me. Little fucker. What is she shooting at? Oh. Missed. Me. Bonk. So the, the spore monsters are in this cave. <clears throat> Not a good sign. 
But you know what that means? They came after him in this cave. Because these are the infected Vault 22 people. And they turned into these spawn, spore, spore monsters. So, yeah, that means that they came after him. I wonder what we're going to find in this cave. Eventually, they probably killed him, I bet. <clears throat> Which is sad. I know, it was a little dude. It was like a tiny little dude. They called it a runt. That's sad. Maybe that, you know what's scary about that? That could have been a kid. That could have been one of the kids of the Vault 22 people that got turned into that shit. There's another one. Poor carrier. Giant spore plant. Dead spore plant. <laughs> he just stood there and took it. He didn't even move. There's another one right there. I'm trying to go around the outskirts. Here we go. Ooh, heavy hit. Ooh. Is she fighting one? She is. She's fighting a, a regular sword carrier. Jeez. What do these guys have on them? Just sap? Ew. <laughs> Fucking sap. Ugh. Okay. Well, I think we cleared the room. But essentially, anywhere we find that has these guys, it means if all 22 people were here didn't live. And then they were overcome by the spores that they were already affected by. Oh god, it says there's more? This way? This way. Where? What? Wow. How? Who? Why? I don't see any. Oh! Take that, asshole. Attack me. You little shit. You little infected shit. There's some up here. We gotta get up here and kill these fucks. Oh, wait, how do I? Shit. Is there a way up there? I don't see a way up there. There's doors and a gate. I have to find a way up there. He's just gonna snipe me if I don't figure out a path up. Hmm. Shit. She got unconscious. Damn, she got sniped. See? What? Another one. A brute. I'm gonna die. I gotta heal. I have to heal quickly. That was close. The brute hits for way much, way more damage. <laughs> Fucking shit. Stupid brute. Ugh. Snowcrawl thinks I should get a different haircut. Right, I'm gonna get a nice purple mohawk for you, sir. A nice cyberpunk haircut. Why not? Right? Right? I stream all day. I do whatever I want with my hair. I don't have to answer to anyone. I'm not going to not get a job because I have a weird haircut. So I should just go crazy. Right? I can't make it across that. Jump! See? Fuck. How do I make it up there? I don't see a way up there. Unless it's a, another path around somewhere. I don't know. I don't see a way up there. This is bullshit. Maybe there's another way. Hold on. There's got to be another way around. Right? Oh. Snowcrawl says, just don't brush your hair down. It looked amazing and full recently. Yeah, well, that's when I don't brush it down with water to keep it from going down. If I, if I freshly wash my hair... Then yeah, then it'll look nice and full, especially if I, I use the you know the shampoo and conditioner and everything. I think this is how you do it right here. I can't see, fucker. Yeah, here they are. Ah! Did you spit on me? You disgusting freak! Get this. You gross motherfucker! Suck on this. There's a third one. Anyone ever told you spitting is very rude? Fuck off. There it goes. Ha <laughs> I ro rolled off the edge. It rolled off the edge. That's funny. Okay. Oh my god. Look at all this. Wow. Now. I hope this is not going to be booby trapped.
It is booby trapped. There's a mine right there. It's a plasma mine too. So I gotta be careful here. I don't want to get blown to. You know what? Fuck this. <laughs> See, I don't wanna get blown to bits. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Dye my hair blue. To match with cat. Cat didn't dye her hair blue. What are you talking about? Fucking weird people. Anyway. There's gonna be booby traps in here. Ugh, I hate booby traps. Very easy. I'm open. I just realized I haven't opened a lock this whole DLC, right? Like everything, <laughs> everything's just been kind of out there, and now I finally find a lock. Am I good here? No booby traps, huh? Surprising. A campfire sack. I don't want any of that. <laughs> I don't want any of that junk. I better be careful. Watch. He's going to end up being a booby trap. I'm not expecting now. Seven fission batteries. All this junk. Zion used to be a place of peace, you know. Daniel says that it is holy in the eyes of the Father. I hope... Sleep. Save the hair. She kept talking through my sleep? Oh, my God. All right. Survival cash. Oh my god. I don't want the grunt outfit. Four of six. We've got... Oh my god. Look at all this. Reinforced leather armor. A lever action shotgun. Multiplos rifle? What the fuck is a multiplos rifle? I guess I'll pick it up. I don't really want the shotgun, but that's like a unique rifle. Multiplos? The hell? <laughs> Alright, let's see what... Oh, bobby pin. Let's see what log we have here. Oh, wow. This is even further forward than the last one. 2097. The coffers are gone, finally. All 34 that still live ate their dead for strength, then struck out southeast. Victory. Ten months of killing. All I feel is cold. So he took ten months to kill them all off. They deserve every goddamn bit of it. January 17th. Thought I was dreaming, but the screams were real for a moment. I thought they tricked me. Just pretended to leave Zion. Then sent a patrol to track me down, but the screams were a woman's. Edge around a corner in a passageway to have a look. One vaulter ankle deep in a bear trap. Leveled my SMG, but the way she was crying stopped me. Now she screamed when she saw me. Been her boogeyman a long time. Name's Sylvie. Claims she ran away from them. Calls them evil people. Children of the devil. Turns out they were sick after all. Something they caught in a vault that they lived in. Never came down with it yet. So help me, I've wound up being, their, being her nurse. January 18th. Her story matches that what I learned from my interrogations last year. But according to her, let's just say it was bad to be a woman in that group. When they left, she slipped away. She knows next to nothing about living outside a vault, so she wants to learn. Okay. All right. Snow Girls, it's crazy how my hair hasn't grayed at all. It is starting to get some silver right here and right here in the sides. If it keeps going that rate, I'm probably going to look like Reed Richards and have the two patches right there. I get a few in my head, but not that many. But it's weird that my whole beard is almost white now. That went... This went first. And also, all here is a lot of white, you know? Hmm. Holy Warrior Tonin says, I assume you'll be getting Final Judgment. It said the story will be darker than the first game. Yes, of course I'm getting the next Judgment. Uh, and and Barakable says, Your hair's not gray. Snowcrawl started some gray hair at the age of 19. Well, that's unfortunate. Sorry. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, you're 2100. Never been so scared in my life. Canada wasn't scary, just sickening. The criminality of it. The end of the world wasn't scary. When I knew you and Alex were dead, I didn't have anything left to be scared about. I just went on for some reason. I wasn't scared fighting the vaulters. It was like I kept daring them to finish me. 
<clears throat> when I killed him, I think it was the closest I came to feeling happy in years. Sylvia's pregnant and I'm terrified. Ridiculous old man, a father again at 47 in this world. She's so excited and so trusting. Says it's God's will we have this child, like nothing can go wrong. You see, Char, that doesn't she doesn't know about you and Alex. Never told her. Almost did sometimes, but what you and I had, it seemed wrong to share it. More like an old man not wanting his young wife to know how he failed the one who came before her. Hiking into T Tugerville for medical medical books and supplies. This will be done right. I'm sorry, Char. Hope you can forgive me. March 5th, baby was breached. She would have been a son, Michael. Did my best to turn him. Failed. Must have done cesarean too late. Had to put Sylvie out and she never woke up. Buried them both south of the Narrows. Damn, this guy has a terrible life. Well, this time I was by their side so much better. I think I can finally do it. Blow my fucking brains out all over the goddamn cave. Jeez. And this guy is the father. This guy is seriously the one who, like, is their... They, they believe is their religious leader. This guy had the worst life. <laughs> seriously. Most fucked up things happened to this guy. Oh my god. Fucking balls. Fucking ship ass. What the fucking... What the flip? That was too... Oh. That was too hard. What? What is in here? What is this? A bunch of traps. Like a ridiculous amount of traps. What could this be hiding or dis or disguising? Why did he put all those traps there? There's a way to go up and a way to go down. I guess we'll go down first. Oh, never mind. This looped. There were two ways to go into the room, and I went one way, but there was another way I could have went with those traps. I see. See, that would have been tricky to see from the other side because of all those trees. Luckily, well, I would have walked right into it, but... Okay, we can leave now. So this cave's done. What's the next one? Anyone know what the next cave is? We got four of six done. Four of six caves. Anyone know that? Okay. Darcy X says, the last location is Red Gate, south of the Bend Bridge. No cave, but a bag is somewhere around that area. I thought you said there were six. Two Skies Cave is east of the Virgin River Marker. I think that might be the one I didn't do yet. Two Skies Cave. Which one is it? East of the Virgin River Marker. Okay, Virgin River. So I guess I should go to Bend Bridge, drop down to Virgin River, then head east and see if the cave pops up. Because it's not here yet. See that? It's not here yet. Alright. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Let's do that next, and then we'll do the other thing last. She's blabbing. She won't shut up. Perhaps you might find peace if you stay. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. <laughs> Where's the enemy? There's an enemy of some sort. Blah, 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 blah. She talks too much. I love how everyone's... Oh, if you don't donate, Phil won't read your message. Except I've read a ridiculous amount of messages today. <laughs> it's just trolls. It's just shithead trolls trying to derail the stream as usual. And I've, I know your game and I'm not going to fucking play. I'm just going to ignore your dumb ass. The Virgin River, okay. So, east of the Virgin River, I'm just gonna head walk east and hopefully we'll find the, this cave. <clears throat> Look all around for a cave here. A wrecked car right there. See, I don't know if it's up there or if it would actually be following the river. Oh, wait, could this be it here? This might be it. Two Skies Cave, beautiful. Thank you guys for the help today. This, this, see what I mean? Like, Playing these DLCs by myself back in the day. I didn't know what was going on in them. They were brand new. No reason even guides or anything for them. Now you guys know where all the content is. And it allows me to enjoy the DLC a lot more. So thank you very much for that. You know, I bought this DLC a million years ago. Got a few hours of gameplay out of it. Now I get to explore get all the content.
Now I get to explore many, many years later, and I get to get all the content out of it now. Right? This is really cool. I was shit-faced? Was I shit-faced when I played Honest Hearts? I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised if I was completely shit-faced when I played this. Like I said, that's... Oh, fuck. Trespassers will be shot. Uh, more like trespassers will be horribly electrocuted. This is the door requires a key. Okay, let's see what this does. <coughs> Excuse me. Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, god damn it. I clicked by accident. I'm stupid. Remove all those duds immediately. I demand you remove all the duds. Alright, there's only one word left. Reverence. And of course, reverence. Something religious, right? Electric door control. Yes, no, back? No. Yes. There we go. The generator would make the door activate again. Obviously, I don't want to do that. Okay. Snow Carl, if you keep up with baloney, I'm just going to treat you like Oscar Mayer. And I'm going to send you off my stream to go make a sandwich. All right? I've had enough of your baloney. Stop it right now. Okay. <clears throat> Shout out to Anshang Forever who tipped me a dollar forty nine. Says I'm enjoying the Fallout stream today. Thank you very much, Anshang. I'm glad to hear that. I certainly hope other people are enjoying it as well. Rather than talking about me moving my neck and having gray hairs and smelling and having balls dropping down to my knees. You know, I am getting older and you know, I'll have to think about that stuff eventually. But I don't know why you got to dwell on it here. Anyway, <clears throat> what's all this? What is that? A conductor. What's this? Survival cash. A Brahmin skinned outfit. No thanks. A motorcycle helmet. Five of six. Needs to mash and cram. All right. <laughs> Uh, right away, I'll certainly take that. Bobby pins, I'll take those. Explosive crate, very easy. Oh wait, 100% force. Force that lock. Okay. I wonder if this will be his final lock. 2083? These are older. These are actually older. The comeback goes on. Add prickly pear to list of survivors with honey mesquite and banana yucca. Odd nodules, mutations, but safe to eat. It's talking about the plants that have survived the Holocaust. Or the Holocaust. No, not the Holocaust. The, uh... Why did I say Holocaust? The Apocalypse, I guess I should have said. I don't know. Plows of stinging flies or fallen tree I call the Napper. This is not very interesting because we already read... Yeah, we already read logs way after that. I guess maybe there was an order to do these, and this is one of the older ones, so it's not particularly interesting. Here we go. So this is him tracking the Vault 22. Yes. No, it's not. These are actually people he helped. These are the tribes. He's talking about how he was... He, uh, he was befriending the tribes, but then the next log after this was that the Vault 22 people showed up and kidnapped all his tribe friends. Right. <clears throat> Snow Call, did I not say to stop talking about oh, that? Father, Seriously. Us, your children, did I not say to stop the, the bullshit and you're keeping up? Do you want to be banned? To those who would steal Zion from anyway. Us. People just don't know when to fucking stop. What do we got over here? Nothing too interesting.
Locked door. Perhaps this was another way in here from another direction. With a landmine right there, look. Now, there's no, I don't think there's a way to crawl, crawl up here from another direction. What's in this cave? Nothing. <laughs> A whole lot of nothing. Looks pretty empty. I'm not sure there's an actual reason to be in here. Not that I can see. It does look like there's another way out up there, but outside of that, I don't really see anything in this cave. Anyone know if there's a reason uh, in this cave? Or should I just leave and go to the final thing? <laughs> Arctic Carl to me, $1.49 says, It's not that you're old. It's that fans were concerned about your health. We it want you to be in peak physical condition. Alright, so well, good for you. I'm glad that you I care. Really. Like. Alright, let's continue. <laughs> How much did I spend on the chair? You're now going to get banned because you know I didn't buy the chair. So I'm going to go ahead and ban you. Since you're going to derail my stream with nonsense. Goodbye. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I guess that's it. I don't see anything else in this cave. Someone had said there was a unique gun or something, but... <clears throat> I don't see anything. I think we're out of here. And then the last thing. We have to find the last spot. What was down here? Anything? Or dead end? There's a water, water filled cave. Oh, look at this. Did this just loop to where I just was? Yup. So this is an alternate way in, a back way. I see. Okay. <clears throat> bad mood? I'm not in a bad mood. Guys, this is the beginning of a fun new week of streaming. Tons of variety coming up this week. All right? I I'm I'm, know I'm going to have a good time with you guys this week. I know it. I'm not in a bad mood at all. But if someone's going to be an asshole, I'm going to treat them like an asshole. I'm not stupid. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, Father. Gecko. Guide and protect us, your humble children. There's Gecko over there. He's teleporting, the by the way. Okay. Where is the last location? Someone out. had already said it. Okay. Someone had already said it, but now I'm not so sure. I think someone said it was like southwest or something like that. Because this will be the last one. This will be the finale of getting the father stuff, right? Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh, man. Whew. Kagame says I don't talk as much. Hey, it's cool, man. We, uh, we talk on pre-stream usually, right? Red Gate is east of Bighorn Bluff. There's Bighorn Bluff. Okay, east. Oh, wait, now Darziak says there's another ca uh, cache. He says, travel through Angel Cave. We found Angel Cave. Exit out the back entrance, head west till you reach a cliff. On a high ground, there's a, there's a, a, a handprint to find a hidden cache. Oh. All right, let's do, th let's do this first. If there is one more cave thing here. And then let's do that. I want to do it all, so... So east of Bighorn Bluff. That's where we're headed right now. Maybe up here. Yes, hello, Guts the Black Swordsman. How you doing? No, I don't want a full beard or chin strap. As I've explained, they're very annoying to me. If I don't shave within, like, maybe six days, my facial hair really starts to bother me. Maybe up here. I'll fight you. Coyote Den Mother. That was uh That was short work. Just bonk bonk. Oh no. Well, I don't like this. This one is mine. Jeez. Fuck. 
fucking thing, man. Ugh, I hate those fucking things. Alright. Now. I'm not sure where to go here, honestly. It could have been where that Cazador was. It could be this way. I don't know what I'm looking for. Red, what red something, something, something. <clears throat> I fear for our people and for our valley if something is not done. I'm not really seeing anything around here. That's just the river, right? Go southeast from where I am. Like down here to the water? Don't see anything. I don't want to go down there and get stuck down there if I need to be up on this ledge, but I don't really see anything. Swagons, I have not found the survivalist rifle. No, I don't know where the fuck it is. Now I need to go more west. More to the west. This way. Ugh, this is a confusing one. Let's see where I am. <laughs> I don't know. Straight? Another fucking Cazador, man. I hate those fucking things. Major pain in the dick. No, come on. Don't come over here. Go fuck yourself. I said go fuck yourself. God damn it. There's another one. I can't keep up this pace much. Bonk. At least that was a young one. I need to climb up? Oh, shit. I'm being told I need to climb up. Of course, I just went down. Shit. Climb I know up. You are eager to leave Zion, but perhaps you might find peace if you stay. Think about it. Where do I climb? Please. Up here, perhaps. Over here? An area called the Red Gate? Where the fuck is that? Maybe this? Because this is the Red Gate? Nope. Ha <laughs> ha, shit. Damn it. <clears throat> God damn it. Where is it? I climbed all the way up here. There's nothing here. Oh, what a bunch of baloney. Come on. Come on! I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm an idiot. Let me save before I fuck up. Come over, you're gonna land and break my legs in five places. There's a double bag on the floor in the red gate. You should be very close to it. On the dotted road that splits and goes east, head directly south from the end of it. What? Here, you're saying follow this dotted road. I made it high up here, but I don't think it's where I... The dotted road would keep going this way. But do I have to climb up? Maybe this is where I need to go. Maybe I needed to jump across. Maybe this is it. I don't see it. I don't see this red gate bullshit. I don't see it, man. Where the fuck is it? Shit! Look at the arrows in the compass, the ones that are hollow. What? Why? That's my waypoint. That goes to the Virgin River. I'll remove that. South from the end of the dotted road on the map. Okay. That's where I am. I am to the south of the dotted road on the map. Uh... 
Do you want, do you want me to go down? Because you had told me to climb. I don't see anything. Like, look. Look where I am. <laughs> I don't know, man. The hollow triangle on the compass from southwest where I am. There is no hollow. Unless you mean that's northwest. There's nothing. I don't know. Why is this so complicated? Why did they do this to me? <laughs> uh, uh, more south. There's two hollow triangles this way. What the fuck? This is the red gate, it claims. White leg attacks grow more frequent each day. I fear for our people. This and is the red gate. This arch here. Down. See this? But now, where am I going? Next to the tree. Oh. The final log. Let's read it. January 2nd. I've been leaving notes for them and gifts. They like books, started with stories, but moved on to weapons manuals, medical books, and practical stuff. In the notes, well, it's embarrassing. Almost like those cards people used to give to each other. Everything's sweet and loving. I tell them to read and to learn and to make the most of their new home. I tell them that I'm giving them Zion as a gift to make up for all the sorrows of their lives so far and all the sorrows man has visited on man. I tell them to be kind to each other and modest. I tell them to never hurt each other. But that if someone else comes along and tries to hurt them, to strike back with righteous anger. Stuff like that. I sign every note the father, because just because. Have I mentioned that I'm dying? Mine's still sharp. Lungs are the problem. Might be cancer. Cost's been getting worse for months. Finally, there's blood in it. Oh, God. Getting harder to visit my little friends. Breath is so short. I've been giving away most of what I own. They'll find the rest in the caves when they get a little older, which is all the shit that we found. I don't want them to find me, though. The father is a broke-down old man. Disappointment. It's time. I don't want another birthday. January 23rd. It's cold enough that I won't last long on the high mound up next to Red, to Red Gate. I think I got enough breath left in me just to make it. I'll just lie down and stare at the sky. It feels right. I hope they do well. I hope no harm comes to them from within or without. Did my best to prepare them with the last few notes. Said something kind about each one of them. And what makes them each special. I told them the father was pleased by their kind natures and that it would be up to them to handle things on their own from now on. That I'd be silent but still watching and still caring. Lying, oh, then, oh yes. Lied to you, Char, and Alex, and Sylvie. Told you I'd be with you forever, but I wouldn't go back and unsay it once if I could. What was the point of it all? So many failures. But I never forgot your face, our little nuts. Or sorry, Sylvie's. They used to say what that happened after a while, but it never did for me. Huh. Maybe the only point of it all... of the, uh, Wait, maybe the only point of all this living was to keep those pictures in my head going for as long as I could. It was the only life I could give you. Not a day went by without. It wasn't choice. I chose to die again and again, but I just never did. My body had its own drive. Well, the little ones will need it. Species will need it if it's to continue. That blind drive onward. I wish them well. It's been a gift to me and the end of all to, be to behold innocence. Goodbye, Zion. Randall Dean Clark, who lived 2053 to 2020 2124, so he lived Geez, oh, 70 years? 71 years? He lived a long time. Randall Dean Clark. 
Is there significance to that name at all? I wonder. And that's it. Well, I guess that's the end of his story, right? So basically he came here after the nukes hit. And he tried to basically make peace with all the different peoples that were here over the years, right? Um, Darcy actually said, I think your companion took the rifle. What? If something of mine will help you... She did! <laughs> Yo, she stole it! She swiped the rifle before I could see it. She was like, zoop. Oh, that's good. That's mine. Zoop. Yo, why'd she take it? That's that's messed up. <laughs> she stole it. She stole the rifle. How do you do that, man? Give me that. <laughs> she stole it. That's amazing. Let's take a look at it. Survivalist rifle. Worth 3,934 3, caps. Probably the best assault rifle in the game, I would bet, right? Um, Alright, so that's the end of that plot line. Someone who essentially uh, had some issues in his life, for, to say the least. You know, he wasn't with his wife and kid when the bombs dropped. <sighs> he had to basically hold himself up in a cave here in Zion for many, many weeks. Until, or actually months until the radiation passed, he finally was able to go outside and start to make a life for himself. Befriended the locals. But then all of a sudden, the Vault 22 people showed up. Started killing the locals. So he killed them off systematically, one by one, and witnessed them turn into, you know, mutated freaks. Uh, then started a life with more of the tribals that were here until the end, and then they basically worshipped him as the old man father figure. They thought he was almost like a god. Kind of interesting. Okay. A few shout-outs here. Um, Coolio Katz says, I like this about Fallout. Not even an actual quest line, but it's something cool you can discover that gives a good backstory. Yeah, so we know now the father is just a normal guy who over the course of, like, many, many years learned stuff about Zion, interacted with the people, and even was seen as a godlike figure because he was such an elder there, right? It's kind of cool. So Mr. Puffy Nipples tipped me a dollar forty-nine. So I, I noticed that you moved to YouTube. Your cheers haven't come to YouTube. Like... Kate Golden, Golden Nobles and Nihilistic Goldfish. Um, I mean, you're right. There's some people who didn't come over. Golden Nobles did come over. Excuse me, not Golden Nobles. Golden Colts, I was going to say, did come over. Golden Nobles did not. You're right. There's just certain people who used to cheer all the time, and they didn't come over. And, you know, I've been telling you guys, since I came from Twitch to YouTube, memberships, I mean, way different, way lower. And cheering used to be you know, frequent, high, all the time. And now... Super chats are good, but not as good as Cheers used to be, you know? It is what it is. I can't, you know, I, it, it's going to be a slow growth back to where I was. Whenever there's change and there's movement, there's going to be some people who come with you, and there's going to be some people who move on. And I knew that was going to happen. I told you guys it was going to be a tough transition. I didn't really want to leave Twitch, but they forced my hand, you know? It is what it is. Um... Ladies man, it tipped me a dollar fifty. He says, Hey Phil, I've moved back on campus. I'll be even more busy than last year, but I'll update everyone on my school whenever I can. Sounds good, ladies man. We all want to hear about your, your updates about how you're doing there at Mortuary School. Uh, you've kept us in the loop for over a year. And I look forward to hearing more about your success, man. So thank you for sharing. And thank you for the tip. Very nice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've pretty much done all the content now of this DLC besides the finale, right? Uh, gathering Storms is the last thing that you can do here. Uh, let me just zoom out quickly. Just make sure. Yeah, see all the waypoints. The only thing I can do, Ant Burrow, Virgin Fork Campground. It's probably just like ants attacking and kill some ants or something. Not a big deal. We got the unique armor. We got the unique gun. So, let's go back to the Sorrows Camp. Let's save up. And I gotta make my decision. My critical decision. Do we want to side with Joshua and get rid of these fuckers? Or do we want to side with Daniel and have a more peaceful resolution? Quite frankly, I don't know the right answer, nor do I know the difference between the two. So, I guess I'll have to figure this out. Alright? Good stuff. 